Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to make some bread clay and I recently made these flowers like today. This is like with glossy finish and this is the plain one. Don't mind about my hands like uh, see. This is made from bread clay. Bread, some white bread and uh, take off the crust like this. Mash it up. Not with your hands, use a grinder compulsorily. Uh, you will know why I said this because if you are going to just break it up like this and if you are going to make some uh, dough, bread dough, you will find you will find some finest dough still like finest bread in your hands. So you will have to mash it up. I just made some white, some red and some green. You can still see the white in my hands. So I just made some white one and I will show you how to make this. Uh, I am going to make some light uh, baby bean today with this one. And I'll show you how to add yellow to this white one and make uh, yellow clay as well. So quickly I'll show you what all do we need. Some white bread with a, a cross off and some glue, some PVA glue and some baby oil. Then, 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 then you'll need some a lemon juice or some uh, cider vinegar either lemon juice or, or this vinegar it, it depends on whatever you have in your home vinegar usually we have it is better to use cider vinegar because it helps in um, in maintaining this uh, bread in a good state not to you know get it in a mold or anything like that so it won't let the bread spoil that is what I uh, found out so I added some little pink then here I have added a little more I'm adding some glue. The count is like for one bread slice, you need one spoon of glue. One spoon of glue. Here you go. Then one spoon or depends, half a spoon of this thing. Don't uh, let your Bread batter be bread batter be too much, you know, juicy kind of thing. Don't do that because you'll be needing more and more bread then to maintain it into the shape again. So here you go. Oops, sorry. Start mixing it up like really well. I made it up nicely. Made it up nicely, nicely, nicely. That is my pink clay. It's gonna be. So this is not really sticky, not really crumbly. It should be in this way. Your hands are gonna get a little dirty, so don't worry about that. There you go. So now. Now comes the dirty part. Oil, made it up. Then clean your fork. Clean it up. make this clay pink one so we don't need this bowl anymore then then start kneading it real well see real real well and your hands are gonna get this dirty don't worry about this dirty stuff because this is what it happens So it is already see it's already boiling up so
I'm just cleaning up my hands so that many say that I know this if this bread smells good, it will be nice to work with. They say that they use Pond's cream, whichever flavor you like, obviously in creams. If you think you like we like Garnier, you can even use Garnier as well. But I personally like Nive. So I use a little bit of Nive here just to maintain the fragrance in this clay. So I just took some Nive. Just a bit of it. Okay, See, that's nice, nice flavor. I didn't really like that very much. So, I think this baby pink looks very good with me clay. There you go. There's nothing on my hands. So here it is. I'm just just like that. See, and you really can add very fine details to this kind of clay. You know, that is what is most uh, interesting part for me in this. You do anything you want. And this is really good to go. Like this. See? That is how. Me. I hope you are able to see this. Me. 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 That's my boy. He's just awake. From his afternoon nap, so I have to hurry up. Now I'll uh, show you how to add color to this white. See, this is a bit hard and it's a bit very soft. See, the same strength when I do the same strength is almost crumbled. So it depends. I like it a bit hard because it's it is good to make flowers and all than the very soft one. And I'll add yellow to this part. Only to this part. I'll put it back. Put some pink over here. And do not put your clay like this. Seal it up in a cover like this. Ziploc bags, sandwich bags, or some foil or something like that. But definitely seal seal it up. Now, funny part comes is. How do you? I wanted it in this level. Okay, because I'm planning on to make some sunflowers. So this is not my yellow one. This is my yellow. I just added two types of yellow to this, just to see how this is gonna turn up. Let's. This is not sufficient. We'll be needing more. Don't worry. So. See, that much of yellow we added and we hardly could feel yellow color in this. So, we will be needing more. See, you know? We will be needing more and more yellow. This is a kind of darker shade, so I am adding some lighter one as well. Just to protect my hands, I'm just rolling the tad out inside and outside. But anyways, it is gonna come outside. So like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dirtiest part, I said. So do not mind too much. This is how it is gonna be. See? 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So if you need more darker yellow color, keep needing more yellow and make sure you apply some oil like this because your hands are going to get real, real, real dirty or else with more and more yellow, your hands are going to be real and real dirtier. So make sure you add some more oil or some nice cream, whichever flavor you like. Sometimes I feel it is not really no necessary. Then I'll just go. I'll I'll take some polymer clay and I'll start making some nice flowers or beads. This time I'm planning to make some beads for my earrings for this set of ones. That is it. There you go. That's it. We are done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. So, try for yourself. If you couldn't make it this way, just let me know. I'll see why I, why or where you have gone wrong. Yeah? Thank you so much.